And backing up Sanchez now on the back foot and against the ropes. Will this ambition of far give Sanchez the chance to find oh, that counter? Shot. And there is the chance. And down goes far towards the end of the round. The count will continue. Can he make it to his feet? He seems to be relatively clear-eyed. And in comes the bell. And at last, Sanchez finds the range. That allows Sanchez to, to find that right hand. Big shot again. Brilliant combination. And down goes far for the second time. And this time, there's a lot longer left in the round. Two minutes to survive for Junior Farr. Superb combination punching from Sanchez. And now we're starting to see the real promise that he hit so well for the first half a dozen rounds, but now far in big trouble. He's definitely the prey in, the, in this round. And down he goes for the third time. And looking across at the corner, they're showing concern, and why not? Yeah, they should stop this fight. And the referee decides that three times down is enough, and Frank Sanchez can celebrate. Yeah, demori has been... You know, he has two losses, he's been stopped twice, and both of them in the first round. And I expect this one to heat. Just looks like round. yet another one. Overhand right, down he goes, and the best part of two minutes still to survive. Well, that's going to be the shot. It's going to be that right hand, and I don't think this is going to go much longer. He needs to just work behind that jab, the right hand will follow. As I say that, Tomori throws a big right hand himself, but... The Australian swinging for glory, but surely only likely to walk onto one. As Ergovic now goes looking for the finish, and Tomori turns his back, and what's the referee going to do here? The referee's saying that he got hit behind oh. the head, but Tomori's turning his back. And here comes the towel. And the referee steps in at the same time with more than a minute to go in the opening round. I like where he's positioning himself, though, Zorro, in the ring. He's not getting bullied too far. Back oh, oh, big shot! Single shot, left hand. Zorro is out. Zorro is out. His head hit the canvas. That's bad news. He gave an indication of what was to come earlier in the round. And in one decisive moment, it's all over for Elisoro. The Jack. golfing class described here by one single punch as Opatia now walks over to his stricken opponent who is sitting up, being tended to by the medics here at ringside and his own corner. But that was truly devastating. Terrible defense. Caballero is bullying the monster now, pushing him back, digging him down to the body. It's going to be an overhand right that he's looking for. Cannot miss, cannot miss. Great shot, the body shot again. Two uppercuts, the body shot, and down goes Matt Moodle. An experience like he's never had in his professional career, and still two minutes to go in the round. He looks so tired at the end of the third, and now a mountain to climb to get back into this contest for the man mountain. Can he find something that Caballero so accurate, so powerful, holding his ground in the centre of the ring. Mahmoudov with nothing left but a desperate swing for glory. And it's the body shots again that Caballero is going for. And down again goes Mahmoudov. Only just into the second half of the round. I don't care how big and strong and scary and intimidating you are, body shots make cowards of us all. Caballero takes a huge lung full of breath. Does he step forward now to finish the job? And that's enough, says referee Steve Ray. The body shot's all over again. Came out kind of hot here in the 10th, but you got to believe he's got nothing left as he eats another right and then an uppercut from Dubois. And then another right. Miller trying to show some bravado, but it's Dubois who's stealing the show. He wants the knockout. He wants to prove to everyone he's no quitter. He's going for the knockout against Big Baby Miller. Oh, big shots from Dubois. Miller stumbles to the ropes. Are we going to see another finish? 26 seconds to go. Dubois giving Big Baby Miller a broken beat down against the ropes. Oh, big shot. Big Baby going to get big time knocked out. Dubois, sensational finish here.
left, throw it right to the body, and fire back upstairs with the shot. Oh, nice one, two. Beagle opening up now. He's forced against the ropes. I mean, that, that that pressure, that jab, and that big right hand. I mean, it's a laser straight right hand by Bebo. It's hard to avoid. It's possible. If he touches him to the body again. There it was. And here he goes. He recharged his batteries, as Chris said. 15 seconds to go. Can he survive? Will Bebo slug it out at the bell? And Lyndon Arthur, to his credit, is going to go 12 full rounds with one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the game. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now both WBA, Super, and IBO, light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri! Joe Parker, I'm taking a knee. The big right hand right there. I might take three knees. 30 seconds to go. Of course you'll take a knee, Maddox. Parker thinking about the exclamation point. Cobwilder with a left hook. Right here, now, now it's time for Parker to back up. Hands in the air, soak it up. This is your Sugar Ray Leonard moment, because you shocked the world. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. From New Zealand, he is Big Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker delivers in the biggest fight of his life. But not offering anything in offense, <laughs> not letting his hands go. <laughs> no. oh. Joshua. Can he be that ferocious finisher that he used to be? Chris Mannix nods his head yes. <laughs> that sounds familiar. There's the right hook. Alternating the right hand from straight to around the guard. There it is again. again. And the uppercut. He needs to bring the uppercut into play, whether it's the left or the right. The elbows are wide of one in. Otto Wallen so full of confidence heading into this fight, but AJ has literally beaten that out of him right now. He looks like a wilting rose fading away. Yeah, the shots of Wallen coming back, they're weak. There's no power in the shots at all. Fantastic stuff from Anthony Joshua. That left took Rock Wallen out of the temple. Because it was the right hand that he actually wanted to land. The left hook just came out of reaction. See? Oh, it's over. They've stopped the fight. And it is over indeed. Anthony Joshua gets his 24th knockout. And boy, did he make it look easy. Yeah, I had a suspicion they were going to stop this fight. When Otto Ballin got back to the corner, Joey Gamache gave him a long look, looked at his nose. I think that might be broken. Knockout victory for Anthony Joshua.